kick. There's the kick down to center. And here's the Trojans. Oh, the keeper comes out hard. Gets a boot on it, but she's still down on the ground. Back on her feet, though. Here's the, oh, number 13. The Somerset comes up with the first goal. That's Tira Thomas. Gives the Trojans the lead. Thomas strikes for the Trojans on a corner kick. Taking an early lead here. Weldon knocks it forward. And Campbell also in the defense for Trojans. And here's a chance number two. Whoa! That would have been uh, Jasmine Simmons just wide of goal. And that's the interval. This match a lot more closer than the previous two, with Somerset only leading by one goal going into the half, thanks to a strike by Tira Thomas. Foul right in front of referee Francis. Nolan slips around one. Some nice cleanup work there done by Fisher. Here's the throw in, in the mix. Oh, Trojans. Knocks it into touch, playing it safe. Number 13 there, goal scorer. Tira Thomas, here's the Hollis with the throw again. Back in the middle, Nolan is there. Will she be able, she has her back to go, unable to turn, it's high, this could be dangerous. Nolan gets uh, only a head to it. And their goal kick coming out. Substituted. THC trying to get something going again. Nolan, just wide. Just wide of goal. That very easily could have been the equalizer. Smith is there. Here's the free hole. Just wide to the right of goal. Under 14 final. There's Nolan there. Oh, my! What a save by the keeper. Nolan still has a chance. Oh, just over the top. But the keeper, due to her height, is just able to keep that ball out of goal. And there it is. The Trojans with a clean sweep. A 1-0 victory, thanks to a first half goal by Tira Thomas. And they come out with all titles here. As we mentioned earlier, in the under 10s, they beat PHC. 8-0, in the under-14s, they defeated Dandytown 7-0, and now in the under-14s, they have defeated PHC 1-0, and the silverware goes to the West End. It's, once again, if you will, Silver City. <laughs> Household name, Clyde Bunny Best, uh, one of the first blacks to play English top flight football back in 1968, I believe he broke into the ranks over there, West Ham. Um, Clyde, you're up here as one of the Bermuda legends for the 12th annual uh, Kappa Alpha Psi Pee Wee Extravaganza. What an event it's turning, it has turned out to be. Yeah, it's a marvelous event. I think it's great for our children who had the opportunity to play in a tournament of this magnitude, as well as, uh, you know, children from different parts of the island. You know, I think it's something nice to see, and I hope that we can continue with this tournament and even have other tournaments like this, you know. Right. Now back in the 50s, early 60s, nothing like this was going on, was it? Now, I do remember a gentleman, Graham Adams, I believe, back right. then, but I don't know if it was anything like this. It was nothing like this. You know, Graham was probably one of the first ones to take our kids going from uh, different um, parishes to play one another. And I think, I think, you know, that was a good thing. And um, it helped our players, it helped our clubs, it helped our teams. And, you know, it's nice to see this thing. Parish versus Somerset Red, with Hamilton Parish kicking off. This is the under 10 boys. The goal kick down the center. 
for Hamilton Parish, uh, Aaron Burgess. Summers to come up with it. There's a shot. They all take the deflection. And 1 0. Own goal. Hamilton Parish go up 1 0. A shot by number 11 for Hamilton Parish. Number 7 doing his work there. That's good. Oh, number 10 is over there. That's the youngster we told you about, Haley Eve, the right winger. All right, Aaron Burgess, the midfielder, number eight. He tries one. Oh, collected cleanly. And it is really coming down now. Windswept field. And what a save by the Parish keeper there. Here's the free kick. Final today is little Eve again working his magic on the right flank. Harris is overlapping. Gooden is there. Oh, yes, it's an equalizer. Gooden has pulled his team back into it. Jamari Gooden, and it's all tied up 1 1. Just when I was saying that Somerset would have won the uh, previous four finals found themselves trailing. Now they're back on level terms, all tied up 1-1. Oh, here's, oh, what a save there by the goalkeeper for, for Somerset. Excellent shot there by Zuri Burgess from Paris. Oh, and that's it at full time, 1-1. Eve is up, oh, what a save, straight to the keeper. And a save! Oh, he's going to order it, retaken. Oh, and he saves it again with his, with his right foot. And he scores. 1-0 Trojan. Oh, what a rocket. 1-1. One, 2-1 one. One, Somerset. Belize and make it 2-2. Two, two. Yep, 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two, Somerset. Somebody shout it out, come on Zion. Oh yes, Somerset leading 4-3. Four, yep, 4-4. Four, four. High five. Yep, 6-5 six, Trojans. 6-6. Six, 7-7. Six. Seven, seven. Yep, Harris converts. Oh, and that's it, it gives it to Trojans. Number 80, Aaron Burgess has his shot blocked. And some... John Tucker, um, heavily involved with uh, Southampton Rangers uh, just about all of his life, a staunch Rangers fan. Heavily also regarded as one of the top all-rounders back in your day, cricket and football. It's uh, nice to see you up here at the National Sports Center's Northern Field. Described as one of Bermuda legends watching an extraordinary event, the 12th annual uh, Kappa Alpha Psi uh, Pee Wee Extravaganza. Well, I'm going to say something, Mike. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, just looking around the grounds right now, and when you see all the kids playing on different fields, uh, with all the supporters, parents, and, friend, and fans, hey, it's a fantastic atmosphere. Uh, and I'd like to say at this present time, I want to congratulate Kappa Alpha uh, for putting this function on, and it's a beautiful atmosphere. Great. I had also spoken to uh, your good friend, Clyde Money Best, and he said nothing like this back in our day, Mike. We had Graham Adams that tried to get a little something going with the different parishes, but nothing in comparison to this magnitude. Well, you, you are absolutely, absolutely right. Uh, Clyde is right. Uh, in my days, we didn't have this at all. But, you know, probably if we had this in our days, we probably brought everybody like, a little more closer together. But in those days, we had some very good, talented players also. So that's why you saw Clyde Best. He went away to England and played for West Ham United. Right. Good talking to you, JT. No problem, Mike. Have a nice day. Oh, 
One nil, number seven for North Village has given them the early uh, lead here. What a goal. And that was Don De Silva. Don De Silva has uh, given North Village an early lead in this under 12 final. It's between North Village and Devonshire Cougars. The goalkeeper. Here comes Village once again. Ooh, number seven again. That's definitely Don De Silva. Here comes the boys in red. No. Nope. Cougars come up with it. Here's the boss. This is dangerous. This could be 1 1. No, saved by the keeper. Excellent defensive work. Cool. Ooh, partially cleared by the keeper. It's still Village. Oh, no. Number 12 is unable to get a good shot off there for uh, North Village. Would have been Gadio again. Oh, what another cracking shot. Cougars now. Here's Gold. He oh, what a goal to seal it. 2 0. Daniel Cole, the big center forward, puts. North Village up 2 0. So Cougars really have their work cut out for them now to put this one on, pull this one back. Trying to mount something on the far side. There's a good ball. Oh! Number five just came on the field, turned it inside. Number 14 for Cougars. Anderson. Pulls one back. So Cole puts them ahead 2-0. Anderson pulls one back. And Cougars are still in the fight. Brown is man. Still going. Oh, Cougars. That's the final whistle. And Village pulling off. 2-1. The goals from De Silva and Cole. Anderson pulled one back for Cougars in vain. As North Village, yes, come up with a 2-1 win in the under 12 boys final celebrations going on. Okay. And that brings to a close the 2010 Kappa Alpha Psi Pee Wee Extravaganza here at the National Sports Center. Here it is approaching 8 o'clock. The lights are on. And it's just about all over now, except for the presentations. Camera work being done by Mr. Faithful himself, Lamone Woods. Yours truly, Mike Sharp, enjoyed bringing you these finals. And also, it's a golden opportunity for me. It's the first time I've had the experience of watching these youngsters in action, and it has been a treat and a half. I've truly enjoyed it, and uh, very eager to see what exactly the Kappa brothers could go to take it to the next level for 2011. Uh, Joe Trott, um, easily remembered as uh, the best central defender in the, uh, in the country with North Village Rams and Bermuda, Bermuda International. Uh, you're up here with the Bermuda legends such as uh, John Tucker, Clyde Best, and having a look at this extraordinary event, over 840 youngsters, boys and girls. It's the uh, 12th annual Alpha Kappa uh, Psi um, Pee Wee Extravaganza, something to watch. Yes, it is. Yeah. First of all, let me just give some kudos to these guys for organizing this program. You know? I've been coming off for a couple of years, but um, it's grown, you know, and it's good. You know, a lot of talent out here. You know. So, yeah. yeah. And, and 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 what I was uh, alluding to earlier to um, some of the Kappa brothers was. Um, the girls have now got a division going, and they're talking about going international next year, possibly bringing in some players. I mean, what's next? <laughs> You're right, you know. Well, the girls, you know, they're, I know a couple of them, you know, that, that play. And, can and, and they can hold it, yeah, yeah, you know. All right, but nothing like this in your day, huh? No, no, nothing like this. But, you know, if it was then, you know, we would really be on the map right now. Right. Yeah. It would have, in your opinion, I guess, uh, helped take Bermuda to another level 
far sooner. That's right, yeah. 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 Did you play with Graham Adams at any time back there? Yeah, I played with Graham. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, if I remember correctly, he was going out when I was coming up a little bit. But he tried to get something going. Yeah, he had something going down Bernard Park. Yeah. We had the West Ham, you know, people names from the English teams, you know, that guys were playing under. Right. Yeah. And I, and I played for Arsenal and I've been a gunner ever since. All right. <laughs> Somerset Red against Hamilton Parish. Somerset Red in, with the white tops, Red Sox, and Hamilton Parish in the maroon and yellow. Somerset going to the goal on the right, and there comes the first shot. Oh, good goalkeeping there. To the crown today. Oh, here's Parish. Oh, cleared nicely there. Some real. Here's the corner kick in swinger. Oh, just off the skims off the boot of Burrows. But and Parrish uh, living dangerously down there, but here they counter. And oh, an opportunity there. Speedy little number seven, Malachi Trot. He's the forward up there for Hamilton Parish. You're gonna have to watch him. Oh, here's an opportunity. Oh, one nil! One nil, number five there. Swan. Looks like Luciano Swan has put the Trojans ahead. Here's another corner kick. Oh, ball right there! He's right there, and it's Simeon Burrows. Put the Trojans up 2-0. Three to five minute interval. Oh, what a move there. Oh, 3-0. 3-0 for the Trojans. 3-0. I'll have his number for you in a second with a comfortable 3-0 lead and we're coming to the closing stages oh drop with a chance to pull one back and he does it's 3-1 so the hot peppers are saying that they are not out of it